we're talking about a ball to left center, and again, a possible uh, triple to left center, a man on first, or a man on first and second, or bases loaded. Um, our concentration is going to focus in on uh, the runner at first base, because that's the runner in which we will probably be able, be able to attempt to throw out either at the plate or or keep them from scoring. So um, obviously you have maybe a runner on second base and you have a runner on third base, but the, the person that we're most interested in, if, the, if there is a ball that's hit to left center, is, the, is obviously the hitter who's going to uh, first base and then the, the person on first base going you know, to second and third and possibly scoring. So um, we're going to take you through the defensive positions in this case scenario. Our pitcher, uh, again, is going to be in a backup situation, and, and they're going to cut the ball off if the ball is uh, overthrown so that the catcher doesn't have to leave their position to grab it. Um, the pitcher needs to be uh, active, and they need to be able to either back up third if the throw does come to third or back up home. So the best case scenario is to be somewhere in between so they don't have to run as far to either position and don't overcommit. The next thing is you obviously have your left fielder and your center fielder retrieving the ball. You're going to have your shortstop go out and do you know, mid um, left field or left center and then our second baseman is going to come over and provide a double cut situation. Our third baseman again is going to be covering third for the possible play at third. In our first baseman, because there is a play at home, they are going to take a cutoff position. And that cutoff position, if you'll note, is, um, is between uh, the baseline and the pitcher's mound. And you want to be in this general area here. You do not want to be in back of the pitcher's mound. You may start at the pitching, even with the pitching rubber, and then move out as the ball comes to you. But the one thing you do not want to be is in back of the mound because oftentimes the ball will hop and take a bad hop off the mound and you're unable to play it, make a play. Um, the right fielder will move in to cover second base. If you remember um, what happened before is that we had our um, first baseman trailing the runner going to second. Now that runner here is going to attempt, it makes it easily to second. And we're more concerned about the, this runner on first base then we are actual runner going to second because we know it'll probably be a sure double. So that our right fielder now, our first baseman is cut off for the play at home, but we need someone to cover second base and our right fielder will do that. Now one thing that keeps us vulnerable is, is our position out in uh, right field. We have nobody out in right field in this area here. So you know, if there is a ball that is overthrown defensively, you have to understand that you will not try and make an attempt to make a play in back of the runner at second base, and that would normally be the hitter because you have no backup in right field, and the hitter can actually score on an errant throw.